Welcome back guys to another quick tip. This is a quick video on how to show you how to cook this pork sausage. I know everyone says that name differently, but this is really easy. And this is actually a great product because you can cook this and use some of it for um, a recipe and then freeze the rest. And when you cook this, just coat your pan with um, oil spray to make it um, not stick. But let's go right to the pan. Okay guys, take your spray, spray that pan down, and then we'll put that sausage in there. And like I said, this sausage is perfect for tacos, for sandwiches, and like freeze the rest of it and use it at, an, at another time. Okay, YouTube, we got the sausage in there. Now we're gonna put this pan on medium and take a wooden spoon and just start breaking this up. If you wanted to, you could split it in half and make um, patties with it, but for me, I want to um, break this up and then cook it because I'm going to use it in tacos or maybe in a sandwich. But the hardest thing is with this sausage, it's not like fish where, where it'll turn white or like if it was beef, it'll turn red to gray. This is um, harder to um, tell because of the color and the spices, but just break it up and just keep um, stirring this. And it takes about maybe like five minutes to cook this. It's very easy. And like I said, most people love this sausage. All right, YouTube, we're halfway there cooking this sausage. I wish you could really smell this kitchen right now because you should smell the spices that are inside this um, sausage. And like I said, you want to try to cook this between three and five minutes because you can't tell when this is cooked like... um. You can with beef and fish or even chicken. But it's safe to cook it for about five minutes. The thing I would do is um, cook it on medium or high for like two or three minutes. And then regulate it between um, low and medium until you get it to the um, texture that you want. But like I said, you see, you see how this is? I'm making this ground, not patties. And this would be great for tacos or put it on a sandwich. So I'll see you when this thing is done. All right, YouTube, you can see that that's done. You can see it didn't create a lot of grease. So you really don't have to drain this, but there it is. You can use it for many things. Like I said, use it in um, tacos, either put it on um, like a rye sourdough or take your um, hamburger rolls and put it on there. So I'm here to um, show you quick tips and how to, and I'll see you soon. If you like recipes like this and you wanna see um, weekly how to and quick tips, please subscribe and hit the bell. Talk to you soon, God bless, Dan Soy, bye bye.